really happened in 1987? Anybody here knows what really happened in 1997? India celebrated its 50th year of independence. A big year for many of us who were born post-independence and much later because we're all proud of that moment. But before I get to 1997, I'd like to talk about 1996. When MTV came to India in its second avatar as largely an American channel, hard rock, heavy metal, Beavis and Butthead, yeah, I really miss those days. And it had its famous slogan which said, do you get it? And everybody in India said, no, we don't get it, right? It was a channel with the lowest viewership in the country. Nobody ever saw it, nobody understood it. So that was 1996. And of course, it was also famous for its first CEO being arrested for not paying hotel bills. That's MTV. And we embarked on Project Sita. Project Sita was the creation of sexy youth television to earn revenue. It was quite simple, for advertising revenue. It meant changing the programming of the channel. It meant mixing up the music. It meant finding some of the coolest faces. And in my words, it meant being less seen a can, which till today has not been created. But then that was 1996, and that's what we worked on, and we came to 1997. And along with the country, we celebrated the 50th anniversary of its independence. And like many other companies, we adorned the colors of something that I truly love, and we all truly love, the colors of the Indian flag that you can see over there, right? It's not the flag, it's just the colors of the flag. Nokia did it, Hindustan Motors did it, Mahindra Group did it, Cadbury did it, MTV did it. We all did it to get notice, you know? It was a good moment, we were changing the channel, and that's what he did. But when you do these things, you don't realize that being proud of India can almost get you into trouble. Because in those days, we couldn't even hoist a flag in our backyard if we wanted. And a particular minister of state, of the ministry to which our business functionally reported to, in a political rally, announced MTV has insulted India. And this got carried by all newspapers, which are more popular than television news, and many other news sources of that day. Within a few hours, all hell had broken loose, because this minister of state had announced that MTV has insulted India. And everybody joined the bandwagon. We got threats by the minute. Media wrote about it. There were marches taken to the office. They wanted to burn the office down. They wanted to get out the people and burn us down. But Linus was not in the country. So there was nothing I could do personally staying outside the country. And I decided the best thing to do was to use a very conventional method. And while that was going on, while that was going on, globally in Los Angeles, MTV was hosting its Video Music Awards, which is very, very popular. And CNN, its competitor of Viacom, was having a great laugh and saying, look what's happening to MTV in India, and was showing this in 180 countries. This was pissing off all our bosses, and I was in deeper trouble, not just with the government, but with the management of MTV globally for causing unnecessary attention. And all I'd done, and all we had done, was to use the colors to say, we are Indian, we are proud, we are celebrating 50 years. So I sought an appointment with the minister. In those days, the facts worked best, and that's what I sent. I was asked to come down in the meeting. I was told, sorry, nothing can be done. You know, you have in the, my junior minister says you've insulted the nation, and there's nothing we can do. And all the minister did was shrug. So I said, what do you want me to do? So they said, the next best thing, right? So I said, OK, before you go further, ma'am, I should tell you that I wrote a letter, a letter to the ambassador of the United States, saying that three political parties are sitting outside our office, threatening to burn it down, beat up the people. 
We're a company that's owned by an American corporation. We need help. CC to the president of, to the saxophone playing president of that country. So she said, okay, if that's what you've done, here's what I have to say. The next thing I knew, I was marched off to North Block. I trust you know which ministry sits in North Block. It's, it's like a fortress, with gentlemen in army fatigues, guns and grenades staring deep into your face. And the minister tells me, you violated the act, you violated the flag act. And I said, that's not true. There is no chakra in the logo. There's no representation of the flag. But he wouldn't listen. And, you know, there were charges after charges being thrown, somewhat like the recent news of treason, if I may call it. There were charges after charges being thrown, and I knew my chances of getting on North Block were reducing by the second. So I did, I, I did what I knew best. I said, Jana Gana, you know the rest, Jana Gana, I hope you know it. And I said, Jana Gana Mana, and I sang Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha. And I was stopped and said, why are you singing the anthem? And I said, Punjab is a state, Gujarat is a state, Maratha is a state. Three states cowed out of because people speak that language. There is no state called Sindh. But yet we have it in the anthem. And yet we are proud of those words. And I am a Sindhi, and sir, so are you. And if we both are, and we are not, don't have a state, and we feel proud of our country, what's the harm in feeling proud about the colors of your country? He broke into a smile, and that's what happened next, right? Simple things, emotions work. We shook hands. So he said, let's agree to a compromise, change the logo. I was not going to do that. There was, that was not going to be a compromise. I said, we can't, it takes too long, it goes all the way into America or wherever else. And he said, no, you have to change the logo. And I said, no, I can't. So I said, what should it be? So the minister thought and said, why don't you use something popular? The peacock. Now that's the national bird. That is really breaking the law. Okay? I said, okay, give me permission to do this. I got the permission and the logo transformed with the peacock feather into it, right? He called for a media conference, and the media announced, MTV is truly Indian. I couldn't have got a better endorsement than this, right? MTV got famous. Every newspaper, news channel, whatever was worthy of those days, carried the news, gave us free publicity. And since 1997 till 2016, it remains the number one youth iconic brand in India. Now, what did I learn from this story? What I learned is very simple. You believe in your convictions. I believed in the celebration of the Indian independence. I believed in the colors, and I believed in the nation, and I believed in the brand and the business, and I believed that we should celebrate that moment, and I stood with that belief. Regardless of gender, Somebody will always try and squeeze, so I always have balls. I think somebody mentioned a polite term, which is called courage. <laughs> and have gumption. Gumption is what comes from your gut. Gumption is what builds brands. Gumption is what builds into yourself, right? There I was, my office about to burn down, huge political marches, a stern home minister, tough guards, an opportunity to go to jail, and here I am in front of you, and none of that ever happened, just because of Punjab, Sindh, Gujarat, Maratha, All right? Can you play the video? Because I think it just defines life.
बिली 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 ये जवानी है दीवानी मेरी रानी रुक जाओ रानी देख जरा पीछे मुड़ के चली कहा ऐसे उड़ के The the little boys me, the little boys boys me, you, the little boys all of us. Professor Gore asked me why I said I believe. In 1982, when we got admitted into S.P. Jain, there was nothing over here. It was a gas chamber. I believed in it, in it then. I believed in it today. Thank you for having me here.